Okay, this is an update to the LGA775 barebone computer build. Um, as you can see, I've installed a graphics card. Now, I did have to put a low profile bracket on the back of it, as you can see there. Um, the original bracket was this one right there, as you can see, it's a full height bracket. Um, yeah. Yes, it is a 220 watt power supply, but I did test it and it does work. So that's good. It's a it's an Nvidia GeForce GT 520 with one gigabyte of video memory. So let me get the computer put back together and hooked up, and we'll give it a test. Be right back. Okay, as you can see, I got the computer back in, hooked up to the monitor. Yes, the um, DVI to VGA adapter I had to use because this monitor doesn't support uh, DVI. And for some reason, it doesn't like put the monitor in sleep mode when the computer is off. So, I'm just going to have to turn the monitor off every time that put the computer in sleep mode or turn it off. So, let's go ahead and boot it up. Okay, it looks like it's detected the graphics card. And yes, it is booting. Okay. Okay, as you can see, it's very low resolution. So, let's see if it has the driver included with Windows. Oh, looks like Windows includes the driver. Well, I'm just going to install the other one, the one that came with the car, just in case. Because usually it's an updated driver, so... And yes, it did have a VGA port, as you can see there, but since I'm using it in a low-profile system, I had to take that off. Oh, it looks like it was just my mouse and keyboard that I guess I plugged into different USB ports on the computer, so it looks like I am going to have to install the driver. I'll resume the video once I do. Okay, as you can see, I've gotten the driver installed. As you can see, the arrow is enabled, and I also fixed the um, thing where it says um, "self test feature" or "yeah, self ch test feature check" when the monitor is or when the computer's off, but the monitor's on. It was actually all I had to do was use a different VGA cable, and it worked fine with my DVI to VGA converter. So, for those of you who didn't, who haven't seen my previous video about this, um, this computer has two gigabytes of RAM, DDR2. It has a 3.2 gigahertz Pentium D processor, um, and obviously the NVIDIA GeForce GT 520 graphics card. Um, so yeah, that's the installation of the NVIDIA GT. Uh, GeForce GT520 graphics card. Hope you enjoyed this video.